Collins Creatures. I am at the East Coast Hotel Super Expo in Oaks, PA, and this is a Doom Rolls boa that comes to us from Scafiri Zoo. And while I already shot a video of the show, today I'm going to talk specifically about the Doom Rolls boa. The scientific name for the Doom Rolls boa is Acrantophus dumarilli, in honor of French herpetologist André Marie Constant Dumaril, or in French, André Marie Constant Dumaril. Most boas are from the New World, but there are some from the Old World, such as African, Asian, and Pacific Island species, with the Dumeril's boa being from Madagascar, where they live in semi-arid scrubs and forests in the southern part of Madagascar, where there is less rainfall than in the more tropical northern parts of Madagascar. Dumeril's boas are usually brown and gray, with this one being brown on top, which is why it's named Brownie, and its belly being gray. But up towards the head, you can see some tinges of orange and pink coloration. The pattern of the Dumeril's boa resembles that of leaf litter, so that it can camouflage in its semi-arid habitat. And the Dumeril's boa is fairly large, getting up to six and a half feet long. This one is between five and six feet, and some have been recorded to get up to eight and a half feet. Like pretty much all boas, Dumeril's boas are ovoviviparous, which means that the females will develop eggs inside of them, and then the eggs will hatch inside of the moms, and then they'll give birth to live young. And they can have a clutch of as few as six eggs, or babies, up and up to 30 babies. So that is quite a lot. And these babies can be anywhere between 12 and 18 inches long when they first are born. So those are some big babies. Not much is known about their wild behaviors, though they're usually called nocturnal, though they're actually cathemeral which means they are active in irregular patterns during both night and day, according to the prevailing environmental conditions. They are also ambush predators, and they will sit for hours at a time waiting for food. And they will also sleep for days at a time. After all, the genus Acrantophus literally means lazy snake. In the wild, they will eat a variety of small vertebrates, such as birds, lizards, other snakes, and small mammals, including juvenile lemurs. CITES lists the Dumeril's boa as least concern, though it is unlikely that you'll find a wild-caught individual because Madagascar heavily regulates the trade of their flora and fauna though they are readily breeding in captivity and pretty much all the ones you'll find are captive bred. genetic morphs identified in the Dumeril's boa, though line breeding as well as natural variation causes differences in their appearances. For example, some Dumeril's boas have been line bred for a more pink appearance. Keeping a Dumeril's boa is fairly simple. Their enclosure does have to be quite sizable, measuring four feet long by two feet deep by two feet tall. Their substrate can be aspen shavings or cypress mulch, which are both very easy to get. Their, their cold end of the enclosure can be as low as 75 degrees, and their hot end up to 85 degrees. You have to make sure it's not too hot, because that can actually kill them. And their humidity should be between 40% and 60%. If it's too low, they can have shedding issues, and if the humidity is too high, they can have respiratory issues. And, like most snakes, they do not need any special lighting. Being 
boas. Dumo's boas are really good eaters and they will easily eat frozen thawed rodents. And they will also drink a lot of water, which isn't actually that common for snakes to do. And so it's best to make sure that their water is always fresh. And they are very docile snakes. As you can see, this one's just letting me hold it like this. And they are great to handle despite their quite large size. So in summary, if you want a large snake that isn't giant, one that is friendly and easy to care for, that also looks really cool, then the Dumo's Boa may be for you. So that is the Dumo's Boa. I'd like to thank Skafiri Zoo for letting me use the Dumo's Boa in my video. And I learned a lot while researching for this video. I hope you learned something and enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I'll see you next time on Collins Creatures.